Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Now, you can see up front who we're going to be talking about, okay? And I ain't liking some things. I ain't liking some things, but I'm assuming now. I am strictly assuming. Now, Simon likes to live the plush life, the expensive life, the well-off type of life. And he's trying to make us believe he is a billionaire millionaire. You know, we're going to keep going on with the scenario until it actually plays out and we see what he's really working with. Now, he showcases his cars. He showcases his house. He showcases himself. The treatment of a good life. Persona. And I'm like, mm, okay, okay. But I saw this one picture, y'all. I did not like it. And so I'm not really on his page as much as I used to be. You know what I'm saying? And I know Simon Gabadia, this is his dad. And you could tell he is well sought out, well thought out, a profound type gentleman. And I like the way he dressed. He's dressed pretty smithy. And I bet you he got on some nice shoes not with the buckle but some nice shoes okay so i can give it to simon's dad but i can't give it to simon because he likes to go all these different places visit these different countries and like i say he gives us the persona that he has money but you know we don't deduce that to anybody that got money that got their salt their grain of salt to them Meaning they know who they are and they don't need to publicize it. Uh, Simon does the opposite. He publicizes it. Him and his woman, Portia Williams, they publicize everything that has to do with material wealth. That can be here today and gone tomorrow. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? But he's, still, he's, he's in this life of luxury. And ain't nothing wrong with being... Uh, in the lap of luxury when you can afford it. You know what I'm saying? He's living in this big, spacious house. Okay? Him and Portia, allegedly. And they doing their own thing. But I saw something that I didn't like, y'all. I saw something I didn't like. I'm just waiting for the picture to pop up on the screen. Because Simon wants everybody to think he's this philosopher. He is well known. He has this. He has that. He rubs elbows with the rich and famous. And he's the who's who's person, right? So you would think he would be the doting good son to his mother, right? Okay. All right, we see this um, stage type of, uh, and she probably had dementia then, but Simon didn't say anything. But, uh, you know, that's like a stage little um, photograph but with Portia and him kissing the mother in the middle, okay? And like I said, we know he likes his cars, so you know he likes money. He wants to be seen like he got money, you know what I'm saying, instead of just, just dressing like a pole joke. Or a poor Joe fella. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know what he working with. But to you, <laughs> here's my picture. Do y'all see that hole in the back of the wall or something that has a stain on the back of the wall? And if you size it up on your phone, it's, it, it doesn't give me clean and sanitary. You know what I'm saying? Now, he living in a plush life, loving life, and this, that, and the third. But yet, what is his mom? what is his mama living in? Now, I may be wrong. I'm just saying I'm just looking at the optics that it's giving me. Okay? I don't know if it's the same house she is in or she's at a nursing home. You know, somebody got to tell me something because I'm getting bored and mad and it ain't even my mama and it ain't my situation. But I'm nosy as hell and I keep telling y'all I'm nosy as hell. And when I see shit like that, it bothers me that one person can portray he's all that or she's all that and then have their mama living in destitute. You see what I'm saying? 
it just doesn't fall to the table when I, uh, that little wooden table that's behind the mother, it has a lot of dust on it. It just don't seem well kept. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, if Simon's the only child, does he have any brothers and sisters? Uh, if he have just brothers and, you know, it's just them, he need to be, they need to all be whooped up the crack of their ass. Their mama need to be living just like they live. And if they live in large, mama need to be living large too. Okay? And I'm surprised that Portia ass. But he didn't take Portia on this last trip. Hell, he hadn't been taking Portia back to Benin for some reason. I don't know. Okay? Unless she could feel he's doing something in Benin with some more women. Then she got to hop her commercial flight over there and get it going. Okay? Instead of hopping on his rented jet. And she could have been over there whenever, however. But we know they ain't got it like that. They be renting shit. But see, this is what I'm, I, I hate. Oh, I hate that. Uh, the woman that gave birth to you and she made sure you had and, you know, uh, made sure you dressed appropriately and uh, tried to, you know, have you have a, a, a happy childhood. And for what Simon said, he did have one. He lived in wealth, okay? His dad made sure of that. All that I can say about his dad, he's nice looking and he can dress. I wish I could know what shoe, the kind of shoes you're working with because that tells a lot about a man too as well if you don't know. But, yeah, he's sitting up there in Costa Rica in this rented home he has. And, you know, just like, hey, I, hey, it's me. Look at me. I'm flossing. It's about me, me, me. Okay? And I'm like, oh, all righty. That's cool and collected. And I get it. I got it. And it's good. But why isn't your mama living in those same optics? Why is she not living in in the space wait about a year why don't you bring mama on over here to the states and the only reason i would take her not coming with you is because she's stuck in her ways she has a lot of friends and she has a lot of support and she wants to stay in her native country uh and just bringing her with her dementia situation going on would just be a little bit too much but i'm like if it ain't nothing but you and some boys. And see, I hate it that if you got a sister, she's made to take care of her mama solely by herself. Because anybody can give money and say, get, make sure mama get this, make sure mama get that. But who's staying up with your mama? And if she got dementia, trust and believe me, she walking out that house when she get ready. She doing things that she probably normally wouldn't do. But the, the, the most telltale sign when when some people suffering from dementia or alzheimer's they get dressed up like they going to sunday they you know putting on a sunday best or it could have been their favorite street clothes they like to go in and then they trying to get out there when everybody's supposed to be sleeping that night you know what i'm saying they roaming around two or three or four o'clock in the morning caught themselves breaking out because they don't know where the hell they at and they trying to get where they think they know they want to go so if she's one of those little candidates then you know she needs to sit her because it, it takes a toll on anybody that's a caregiver to an elderly person. Trust me, I know. I'm living it. But I love my mama. You know what I'm saying? I love her. And if how I'm living, she's going to be living too. It's just that's how it is. Put everybody to the wayside. Her mama has definitely been good to her daughter. You see what I'm saying? So, I, I don't understand these optics. Like I said, y'all... Uh, we call it enlarge the picture. Y'all gonna see what about this dust is over there on the on the side. I, I I don't. It's like she living in poverty, and I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't even know the woman. You know what I'm saying? I just I'm just an advocate for elderly people. But I'm like, you know, Simon. If she want to stay there because she don't want to be moved, she has no uh reason, or she don't want to come over to the states or whatnot where you stay in georgia god damn it you need to be sitting up there building her another ass house or renovating that house out repair those things that i'm seeing that's very unsightly because you're piss poor as a as a son and as a human being against the senior citizens you're supposed to be very careful and prayerful and uh what do you call it peaceful and loving and supporting children and the elderly. Children and the elderly is what I'm saying, people. And right now, he done made me hot mad. I don't know. I'm going to go go in on him a couple more times. Till he get it right. He posts something that shows me. That he has rectified that situation. Because that's just like. 
a unkept place, a unkept uh, setting that he has her in. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, if you living in luxury, goddamn it, your mama's supposed to be living in luxury too. I don't give a shit. Don't put Portia in luxury, okay? Put her back over in her house and you bring your mama on over here and you take care of your mama the way you're supposed to be taking care of your mama because that don't make no damn sense. I get tired of this foolish, fuckery, fraudulent, fakery behavior you got going over here trying to make people think you this, that, and the third. You got your mama living over there and pop there. Make no damn sense. But that's all I got for this video, guys. And y'all keep me in tune, family. If y'all see something that I don't miss or hadn't been, you know, over on his channel trying to see what's going on over there, if everything's kosher, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't talking about just for Portia and him. I'm talking about for them kids, too. If one kid got something that's special, damn the other folk better have it, too. Whew. Oh, my goodness. Simon's father probably turn around all in his grave because Simon just treating his mama any kind of way. Any kind of way. I'm too fit to be tired. I think I'm going to sign off. I'm going to sign off, y'all, because he don't got me heated, Lord. He don't got me heated. But, family, let me know if something else come on there. And it seems like uh, I haven't been over there in a while. Please do like my uh, my uh, YouTuber uh, family member, Diane. She sent me stuff. Why y'all ain't sending me stuff? And I hope y'all ain't sending it to that email because I sure ain't checked that email. I'm about to get my daughter to check it. But y'all get down in the comments. Y'all tell me what kind of stories y'all want me to report on. Okay? Because I think everybody can get it. Everybody can get it. it. Every culture and every race. All right? I can talk about everybody. Because we all human. We're human before we are categorized as what class of people we are. You see what I'm saying? We're human. By nature. By creation. And then the men in the world just start making up all these crazy ass rules. Like, let's label them. Let's have them be this uh, gender. Let's have them be this uh, race. Let's have them be this culture. And we all bleed the same red blood. We breathe the same goddamn air. Oh, I'm heated, y'all. Gotta go. I gotta go. But hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all see what I'm talking about. You know, ain't no good gonna come to Simon. If he got his mama over there living in poverty, I'm pretty sure ain't no good gonna come to him. Because God don't like ugly. Sure don't, don't like ugly at all. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.